Hello friends, I'm Elizabeth Urbanowitz with Foundation Worldview, and I'm so excited that you joined me for another month of book club recommendations. As is typical with the Foundation Worldview book club, we have three titles to recommend to you this month. The first title is the title for adults, and it is Healing Family Relationships by Rob Reno. And this is a book that just goes through the ins and outs of how we can build strong relationships within our families and what we need to do to make sure that we're confessing and repenting of sin, practicing forgiveness and reconciliation. And we know that if we want children who understand the truth of the biblical worldview, we have to not only directly teach that worldview, but we also have to model it for our children. And a huge part of modeling that for them is teaching them how to develop healthy, strong relationships, particularly within the family. The second title I have to recommend for us is the title for eight to 12 year olds. And this book is a classic. This book is Number the Stars by Lois Lowry. Now this book happens to be one of my personal favorite books for children. I've read it over 10 times and it takes place in, during World War II in Denmark with a little girl named Anne Marie and she and her family find themselves in the position of needing to hide one of her best friends who is a Jewish girl named Ellen. So it's just a wonderfully written story that has a lot of great worldview issues that come up. So highly recommend that you check out that along with the corresponding worldview questions that we've crafted in this month's book club. The final title that I have to recommend is Henry's Big Mistake by Lauren Whitman. And this is a great book that talks about two rabbits, a little boy rabbit and a little girl rabbit. And Henry, the brother, he makes fun of his sister and hurts her feelings. And he realizes that what he's done is wrong. And what he tries to do is to make up for that mistake by being extra special nice and caring and sensitive. But what he learns throughout this story is that there's only one solution to sin. And that solution is confession, repentance, and forgiveness. So this is a great book to go through with little ones to teach them how important it is that we confess our sin, we repent of it, and that we practice forgiveness and reconciliation. Well, those are the three titles I have to recommend for you this month, and I look forward to seeing you next month.